Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. My name is Malte Martin and today I want to introduce you to a new series. I want to do little hand pen tutorials where I teach one pattern each time so that you can step by step, the time goes by, stock up your pattern library. If you like this video and if you like this kind of content, make sure to follow my channel. And of course, you can go further in le learning with me, with my masterclass or my studio. Both links are in the description. So for today's video, I chose a meditative pattern, which is very, very easy to play and you can really let yourself go into it. This is how it sounds and as I said before it's very easy to play. We play only hand to hand and in total we only use five notes of the instrument. For our understanding this is called the ding, the central note and then in the circle I start at the lowest note with the biggest diameter and I go one, two, three. So this is how the pattern sounds and now I want to go step by step through the pattern, tell you how, how it works and then by the end of the video I also, also give you some tips on how to expand the pattern and how to make it your own. It's a hand to hand pattern so that means that our hands are always alternating. My right hand starts on the ding and it changes permanently between the ding and tone field number five. So this is what the right hand does. The left hand alternates between tone field number one and tone field number six. If I have this, I can start playing both together and as I said before, I play hand to hand. That means that I play right, left, right, left, right, left. So you can start with me on the first chord. If I have this, I can increase the speed and play it a bit quicker. And I want to play and to experiment with the dynamics. Sometimes I go louder, then I go a bit more quiet. This is how I bring a pattern to life basically. So if, I, if I'm able to play this with the dynamics and in a speed that I, that I feel comfortable with, then I can change tone field number one to tone field number two. That means that my left hand doesn't alternate between one and six anymore, but between two and six. My right hand stays the same, going from the ding to tone field number five. This sounds and looks like this. If we can 
play both um, variations of that. I'm always doing like I'm, I'm counting in cycles. So this is one cycle for me. And I play this cycle eight times before I change the lower note to the two. So I play and I count and you can just play with one. From here what can we do I always like literally always say that we can always <laughs> change the highest note so the highest note in this pattern was the six so what I can do is to play around with the melody which is on the highest level like on the changing the six to the seven or changing the six to the eight or to the nine or to the four, whatever I want to do, I can experiment with this. So what I can do is to like on each time that I would play the six, I can change it for something else, for example. last hit of each chord like in the eighth cycle or I change every second one like the first and the third and the fifth and seventh is that I always repeat what I did on the first chord I repeated it on the second chord as well which helps me the first listener and also if there's audience the second listener to um, yeah to 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 really relax because we can we already can guess what comes next and this helps a lot um, yeah, this helps the mind a lot to relax and the body to relax and this is what this pattern is also made for. So with this you can experiment, mind the dynam dynamics, play louder, play quieter, then um, change the, the melody notes and of course combine it with patterns you already play and find your transitions. So that's the input for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful for you. Um, and yeah, next week there will be another handpan snack. And 
yeah sending much love to all of you thanks for watching bye bye